in us. How's it going, guys? Matt here with Carolina Coops. Welcome to Video Chicken. Uh, to my left is my host, Kristen Warren. I think this one really could be a male. Oh, we got one that's hatching? This show is for you guys. This is the bass fiber. Y'all know chickens are the gateway drug into homesteading. We survived with only one trip to the ER. Coyotes are everywhere. It's about time you show up, Matt. Uh -huh. It's a great straw. It is time, finally, for chicken police. They defecate every 12 seconds. Is that true? <laughs> Now it is officially noon because the buzzer went off. <laughs> well, I've never counted. <laughs> That's long more road. Coops. That's a good one with the with the courts and everything. And more chickens. You're... Well, the math you do now, Daddy, is chicken math. <laughs> Calm, <laughs> down, Matt. But... Calm down, Matt. Calm down. What's Hello, going Matt. on, guys? You welcome to Video Chicken Live. It is, well, I can't see it because Kristen's got her computer in the way now. Uh, and if Kristen's computer is in the way, that means we're going to be taking calls today. It is September. Or at least I'm prepared. September 16th. What the hell? What happened to August? Where does the time go? What happened to July? Where is the time going? And what in the hell stinks in here right now? <laughs> you did surprise. it. That's a surprise. You really didn't. Why are there the eggs? Oh, and Ben is back. Yay! Hi, Ben. How you doing? We missed you. Oh, boy. Your smart comments. It's, uh, yeah, September 16th, 2022. We are live. It's Friday. We made it. Video Chicken Live. How are you doing today, Kristen? I'm, I'm doing good. Wow, you were to work early today. I was. Not as early as I thought I was going to be, though. Uh-huh. Yeah, so did you sleep well last night? I did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good, good. Just rolled out a sleeping bag here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I yeah. did. I didn't see you sneak in either. Did you see me working? No, I went in the side door. Oh, you snuck in. Yeah. Uh, I was busy working this morning, and uh, I'm not sure if we're allowed to talk about what I was working on. I thought maybe we'll tiptoe in it a little bit, um, but we have solved a riddle, I think, right? Everyone gave us the green light. Problem we, solver. Problem solver, yep. We got something really cool coming out. It turned out better than I ever thought, and I love when that happens. Uh, Nan will let us know when we officially can make it official, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, Matt. She will, because that's what <laughs> Nan does. Yep. I sure will. Thank Yay. you. Right. Um. Anyways, so today, uh. Oh boy, I already missed yeah. a call. Boy, I got. There's so a much going on right Amber now. Amber says hi, guys. Where's Francis? So I didn't bring Francis. He didn't have a sleeping bag. So. I really did roll out a sleeping bag last night. Uh, Stayed here. And I, did, I live an hour away. I so. did not hear anything from the shop kitty. That had to be a scam. Mm. We thought we got a shop kitty. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to get started in the show in about 10 minutes, but we got to get some things out of the way right away. Um, and I forgot to mention to Ingrid, could you please behind the scenes, and that's Ingrid, everyone. Ingrid is here. Oh, I didn't know if you were going to introduce me or not. In front, just like I, going I on like I don't exist. I took allergy okay. medicine today and I'm, I'm, I'm oh, like, really? Bleh. Oh, great. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm glad we're working together I don't know if today. I'm going to be worth a damn today. I'll be honest Fantastic. with you. Fantastic. Yes, there is Ingrid. Ingrid, talking to that mic, make sure we hear you or stay there and we can have our new helper... Uh, his name is Paul. He has joined us today. He is a master audio person because he's a musician, a phenomenal guitar player, I'd like to say. I have seen it, Paul. Um, he's going to be coming on more and more, getting some wonderful footage of everything we do here. So you guys are going to love that coming up. But Paul is sitting to uh, Ingrid's right, making sure everything sounds good and might be able to do a little bit more. Hopefully, this is his first time seeing the show behind the scenes. Um, but... Uh, but Ingrid is there and make sure we hear her. We're going to free things up for Ingrid. So she's not so frustrated with all the things that she has on her plate, which oh, will be wait, good. Does that mean Paul has a mouse too? No. I'm the only one without a mouse? You One, you you are not allowed to have a mouse. <laughs> um, Ingrid will be able to do more of the things that Ingrid does so well. And that is making sure we do a good job. And um, Hopefully be able to do more visual effects, this and that. So what I'm leading to is, hi, Ingrid. Thank you for being here today. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> She's like, what I'm, the I'm not looking forward to after the show to deal with you if you're on cold medicine, though. <laughs> I didn't say cold medicine. I'm on allergy oh, medicine. allergy medicine. Yeah, uh, oh. Big difference. Anyways. Is there? So, but yeah, is there with there, you? <laughs> one of our viewers or someone out there, a Carolina Coops customer, has done a great job uh submitting photos we asked last week and ingrid posted something to please submit pictures of your hand or hands 
using our water bar. Yeah. Ingrid, can you bring up a couple of those photos at some point in the show? There's going to be a reason why. And I thought about yeah. maybe doing a contest, but it's so darn easy. But I thought maybe I would do something between just you. Okay. Because it's fascinating how the, the, the old saying is, if you want to hide something, hide it in front of people. There's something wrong with those pictures. They're great pictures. And I really want to thank this person that submitted these pictures. But we have to let that person know there's something really seriously wrong. Really? Uh, yeah. See? And now Ingrid saw the pictures. You didn't notice it, did you? I was just, I, I'm looking for like beak to nipple contact on those pictures. <laughs> like I'm just looking at it as an. What are you talking about? <laughs> the water bar pictures. We asked people to submit water bar pictures. Oh, no. Yes. So I just wanted people, I just, I'm looking for what Danielle needs, basically. I'm just looking at it. What can we use for the box? So if you have a Carolina coupe and you have a water bar and you got some beautiful hands, which hopefully you do, we are asking for the perfect. Perfect money shot of a hen using that water bar so that we can use that picture on our stickers for our water bar boxes. And in return for your hard effort, you'll get, I think Nan calls it the Carolina Coops swag, swag bag. Swag bag. Mm -hmm. swag bag. Not sure what's in there. I'm sure you'll love it. <laughs> so um, I want to bring them up and I want to make sure everyone knows that we're looking for that because I would love to pick someone that just provides that perfect picture uh the the one lady who did they're great pictures great yeah, beautiful yeah. chickens you want me to bring some up yeah, um yeah yeah, yeah when you're ready and okay so now in today's show you guys have talked about that we're gonna talk about molting i guess we got some yeah, chickens sure. that are molting and um not what i wanted i'll let you figure it out well you talk amongst yourselves oh boy well as i will <laughs> <laughs> um Okay, so today we're going to be talking about molting. molting and why do I smell? That's a surprise for later. Later? Oh, do you want it now? Well, it was just a, a follow up. On we something we might we need earlier. to remind people what this jar is. Oh, look at that. Do you want that? that that's perfect. Okay. I love that shot. Okay. All right, so we're going to bring this up. And, you know, everyone out there, of course, you can comment. And if you haven't already commented, please say hi. If you got questions, please let us know. There is something wrong with this picture, but it is a beautiful chicken coop. Love the green grass behind it. Love the water bar. Love the hen. Who doesn't love a good buff Orpington? Love it. Um, but the shot we want to <gasps> thank yeah. you. The shot I want to get is the hen <laughs> using the water bar. And I know it's not easy, so I'm sure this is probably a shot that's like, oh. Yeah. But it is interesting. This hen's like, Oh, I just took a shot or something. Uh, but I'm, did you guys notice what's yeah. wrong? Yeah, yeah. The nipples are upside down. Mm. Oh my god! And that's something. How are they? How are they even? So drinking? please reach out to this customer. Um, let them know that they're at least. Wow. I wouldn't want to. They're not meant to be that way. They oh, are meant okay. to have the nipple. I'm sorry, the bill down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Got to have the wow, bill I can't of the. I missed that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what you keep me I around for. I wonder what this customer has the water bar hooked up to because i don't see a rain barrel there oh it's a gravity style water bar as well or i think she might um, or have it hooked up to a hose and a regulator um a little too much exposure on that one but anyways so folks please if you have a carolina coop an america coop calico whatever one of our coops and you got beautiful green grass beautiful hands and a water bar and i would say that water bar is way too low yeah and she I, said that she knew it was too low yeah mm. um I think me and Francis have some have some plans for the weekend. Yeah, you can submit as well. Okay. Yeah, you know, it'd be nice, along with some other things I would like for you to TikTok, flies yeah, in the run. I don't have your water bars, or else I would do it. Cause yeah, because you, you decide to make your own. Well, I would love one of yours. Oh, oh, okay. We can manage that. I mean, I would love an upgrade. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> um, so please submit pictures. We'll put that on your list of uh, things. To yeah, do I'm going to call house. it a contest. All we got to do is we're going to pick. The best picture. And in return, you get a Carolina Coops swag bag. Nan, can you quickly, before she gets on the phone, tell us what would be in this Carolina Coops swag bag? A surprise. <laughs> that means she doesn't quite know. Yet. Excess stuff. <laughs> Everybody She's loves working on surprises. It. That's right. true. That's true. And I've seen some merch going out. Definitely appreciate it. Um, I want to just remind everyone, because I forget to mention in the show, Please go to the website if you want some Carolina Coops merch. We got some beautiful T-shirts. We got these wonderful mugs. Those we are have, big mugs, too. Yes. Um, we got stuff. And all the proceeds go to what will be, hopefully, a nonprofit. 
But money's building up. And I just want to remind everyone, because there was one person that said, boy, yeah, I bought one of those, the dry fit shirts. They're not cheap. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but then I, when I reminded him, I said, well, it does go for a good cause. He goes, oh, all right. I think, I think he even said, boy, I feel dumb now. But yeah, um, and we've but got also, some. Also, if you go to a store and buy a dry fit short shirt, they're not cheap. Right. Yeah. Not at all. Uh, they're great. I love them. But then there's some people that complain about them. I don't know. Just can't make everyone happy. Uh, the Don't Peck on Me shirt has been popular. Evan today is rocking the Don't Peck on Me shirt. Yes, Evan is down from North or down from New York to North Carolina. He unfortunately leaves today, but he has been a busy, busy boy. So we mentioned the Evan thing. What is the Evan thing? That he tried to get onto the Carolina Coops Owners Forum and oh, he didn't get submitted. I know. He didn't go pass. He didn't. He's gotten rejected. So. Oh, that poor man. He's I been mean, rejected he, a couple times in life. And no, he didn't answer the questions. But the thing is, is that Evan is the man. Right. If you, you're, I know you're excited about me and Kristen and Kenzie and Matt, but Evan, you want Evan on there? Yeah. yeah. So. Um, <laughs> So. He, I guess he didn't answer the questions. No, but he didn't at, follow the rules. If Paul and Jeff are listening, yeah, he did try to get, but don't don't let don't make it easy for him. No, you better answer those questions. Uh, that is a good point. And also, don't forget, I forget to mention to everyone, we got the golden bell. Every person that's won a shirt that received the golden bell, it's always been a laughing fit. And I, <laughs> I, I could always it use it. Yeah. I could always use a good laugh. But also looking for those people that offer that great concept a great idea you it's all know about contribution contribution yeah. yes absolutely so i wanted to just shout out to bob because he's saying hi to me and his wife is from norway so hi bob and hi to your wife that's exciting and we got someone from yorkshire um in the uk yeah everyone that's watching please if you have any questions leave them in the comment section if you don't please say hi let I us know am. where you're watching from and do everything you can to share the show tag the show I don't know what you're supposed to do. I really don't. I, I am social media challenged. Oh, Elizabeth is from Raleigh. Elizabeth, if you want to come by and see my coop. Yes. Oh, let me know. when when are we going to start? When are we going to start the coop here? I I can't believe you just asked me that. Well, I I teased <laughs> that's, yesterday. That's we line. have a coop ready to go and you're like eh. and oh, and next Oh no, no. I'm here. So we you gotta want to build it. I, I'm here. I also want to let everyone know we got a new paint we're gonna be trying out, and I think we're gonna try it out live on the show. Uh, I'm hoping next week if we can fit it in and it's weather permitting, uh, the Sherwin Williams rep will be here. Oh, good. And she brought to our attention a new paint that um, I'm just gonna tell you it's fascinating. The technology of this paint, and if you want to find out what that is, you definitely gotta make sure you tune into that show. It's so good that I wonder how many people are going to be like, oh, God, thanks, Matt. Now i got to repaint my coupe because it's something I never thought of, right? Mm. Um, it is something that people think about but not in this way. Mm -hmm. so, That's being cryptic. How unusual. Mm, well, you have to it, – It helps your coupe stay clean looking. Okay. Enough. Oh, okay. Is that, did that give it away? Jeez. Muskrat. You're not Muskrat. good at this, Muskrat. are you? <laughs> she oh. really isn't. You, you have this huge fear of missing. That's what it is, your fear of missing out. And it's like, oh, boy. Now, Martin S. is from um, in Germany. He's the one that sent us the video, or his daughter sent us the video of him in his Carolina Coops um, inspired coupe. And had they said that was such a hard time getting the hardware. Like we take for granted the you know the latches and everything that they had such a hard time finding the hardware if I what, remember correctly. So what do are they, we? What are yeah. they? Oh, <laughs> supply but chain. In, in, yeah, no, in in or, Germany, like that, that that stuff isn't just. It's not like you go to the store and just get it. Neither can we. <laughs> huh? I wonder what they use in Germany. They use different latches. Can we? Uh, who knows? We're gonna find out soon. What stinks over there? Can you tell me what in the world you got going on over here? Well, I'm glad you asked, Matt. I'm glad you asked. Do you remember a few shows ago? I don't a know. A few. Let's, it was at least six months ago. I we thought we were going to wait until Mackenzie was down. I and she's we going to wait for the zombie apocalypse to open Well, that. I thought it was time we just pulled one out. We could do that, right? Just pull one oh, out. Oh, it's just like a, a test along the ways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I did. Right before the show, I pulled one out. And I snuck in the kitchen and I cooked it up. And if you think it smells bad. Let's see how it tastes. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're getting right into it. This is usually like the second half of the show. Oh, hell no. I ain't what? touching it. No, look. No, I am. So, I have been, I've had food poisoning so many times in my life. You know what? And I haven't. There's Please don't some... do this to me. 
What? You're you're really gonna eat it. Hold on. Can people see what's going on? So yeah. okay. So here's you, know, you, you got to learn the entertainment level. Oh. All right. So how, how long ago? <laughs> what was it? Four or five months ago? We yeah. keep clipping. I don't know if you're hitting your. Um, when Kenzie was here. Uh, look, we're gonna. Oh my God. The, oh. And I'll just say that the yolk did not stay intact. <laughs> like uh, I I I broke it open and it was like just all like. So are we? But we knew that would happen. Right? Are we right? did, debunking? Uh, yeah. Did we know that? Yeah. All right, the so, yolk doesn't stay intact. I would think right, so. Please explain first, because there's oh, people yeah, watching yeah. going, "What yeah. the hell okay. are they even talking so, about?" Yeah, we, and we, you say I'm cryptic. <laughs> yeah, let me let me go back. Thank so, you. So, so on a previous show about six months ago, we did water glass some eggs, and that's simply putting unwashed, clean eggs into a lime water solution. Okay, stop right there. Oh, and look, we didn't even clean up the desk. We still have the <laughs> the pickling lime from, from Hold back on. Then. I think that's what they call an oxymoron. What? Um but people need to know what how important is what you just said. Unwashed clean eggs. What does that mean? How can something be clean if you didn't wash it? How many people are like, oh God no, I gotta wash my eggs no matter what. And that's the worst thing to do. It's the the eggs with the bloom still attached. The, the bloom. What's the, like the bloom? The waxy covering. That's that right. It's invisible. You can't see it, but uh, that that is important. Yeah, the outside layer. And I yeah, uh, I would recommend if you are going to save eggs in this fashion to just set aside the ones that are perfectly clean for your water glassing, and you can add them to it. Like you can, you don't have to wait till you have this many eggs. So another okay. So let, let me ask you, you this: so to pickle to, to to do this water glassing technique if you went and bought store-bought eggs that have been stripped of everything good on the outside washed to hell who knows what penetrated that eggshell and got inside you you don't stand a chance because that bloom is gone right all right now these exactly. eggs are from your backyard yes, yes they are all right so you can trust these have not been washed yes i handled them myself yeah okay so they've been around for six months six months and let's see if it's edible. No, hold on, hold on. What? So you decided before the show. Oh, yeah. You decided before the show to go ahead and cook one up. Yep. And what did you see? Do you really think it smells? Here's the thing. Ever since COVID, I have lost my... Nan's like, how do you not smell that? I'm like, I really don't smell. I smell that. Oh, my God, does that stink? When the chicken I decides to take a it. dump down the back of my shirt, oh, I smell it. <laughs> um, I can't smell it from here. But I don't, I don't. All right, no, and you probably got one of those stomachs that just nothing affects you, right? That's right. And why is that? I don't know. Because you're just like whatever, you know. And that's kind of how it should be. Oh, oh, ow, whoa. ow, whoa! What is going on? That is so. Um, loud. All right, we're not. Wow! Oh, oh, hold I on. Don't even know where that what is coming from? What? What? Apocalypse! There's the <laughs> government that? calling. Don't <laughs> tell that? people about glassing eggs. Buy store bought. I uh, think somebody was calling. No, that's the, the government show. calling. Yeah. Yes, that, no, it, it no, it's it's a sales call. We're sorry, folks. We do. We were gonna later in the show tell everyone we will take calls if you guys have any questions. Uh, we want to take some calls, and so go ahead and just turn your. Okay, you're good. Holy! I thought that was off. Look, Kyle, that was right loud. Here. Now was and loud. actually, we have a new extension. We haven't implemented it yet. I think right. that's what the yeah. Yeah, source subject anger is mm. like. Yeah, if you just answer your emails. Hold on. All right. So you cooked the egg. How did you cook the egg? Uh, I I found. A, you fried it in a yeah, pan, right? Yeah. Fried. Okay. Yeah. And then you you, you like it? Okay. Is it scrambled? No, I can't see it. So, I'm... Right, so no, sh- it's got since the yolk was broken when I put it in the pan. No, what does that like, mean? The yolk like, was broken. It means you broke the yolk through the cracking, or was the yolk already broke? It was already broke. That's not good, is it? I think, with, but I think so. With fresh <laughs> eggs, the, the, no, people I, notice that the yolk usually stays intact pretty well. Most people that yeah. have chickens have noticed that. But I think because this, like the air, that the reason why you do it like point side down or right, um, it has to do with like the way the yeah, you got to point side down. You got to make sure the air sacs up. Right. So I just think in the storage that it's not as fresh, and that's why the yolk doesn't stay intact. That's just, I'm guessing. I haven't, okay. I haven't water bathed eggs, so. <laughs> so you crack the egg open. You got some experience cracking eggs open. Not yet. Uh, so the yolk broke immediately. Was there anything else you observed through a room temperature egg sitting in water in lime for six months? Did it? How did it smell? What was the aroma like? Hmm, exactly. This. Eggy. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> So, not to say this is bad. Kind of no. like boiled eggs. So is can... it eggy or vinegary? Eggy. Eggy. Okay. Is that, what, what's the difference? Well, 
eggs and vinegar. To Maybe a different... little sulfur. Oh. Is that what it is? So it's like a rottenly egg smell. You don't smell that right now. I feel like I I'm don't. back in my own hometown of Clifton Springs, no. once known as Sulfur Springs. So let's do a. Mm. I'm gonna. I want to do a sniff test. Well, no, I will <laughs> do it myself. I don't. No, okay, not bad. Maybe I'm just not used to smelling cooked eggs in here. So you're gonna eat this, right? Yeah. No. Fine. Yes. Yeah, let her eat it. My God. Yeah, really. <laughs> Sometimes we drag things out way too much. I know. And what do you think, Kristen? Mm. I believe I just got criticized. Oh yeah. Hmm. Mm. What's going it's on? Okay. No, no. Tell us. Tell us. What's going on right now? Actually, they're okay. Do you think they need to be doctored up a little bit to make them? Yeah, like, they could use what, some what, cheese and stuff. No, what's wrong? What's what's going on? Do they not taste right? Do they taste rotten? <laughs> no. Do I you think feel it's like fine. you're gonna probably puke your brains out all no, weekend? No, I think it's fine. You think it's fine? Why do you think it's fine? No, no, what are you gonna chase it with some cookie? No, 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 <laughs> no you ain't getting out of it that easy. No, 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 I That's know exactly your ways. What I was gonna do. I know your ways. All right, hold on. So, so what? Egg, so just so it's people fine. know that egg glassing is a way of preserving, yeah, um, eggs. And because there was a question about that, that we did this on the show like six months ago when Kenzie was here. You can keep them for years. Um, and Kristen wanted to try one. Well, she actually True. wanted now, Matt th- to try. And this one. is not considered pickling eggs, right? We have uh, a viewer right now, Simon, yeah. that says pickled eggs are safer! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Three of them. Three of them. Does that make your skin? Right, how do you feel as about that? As long as it's well well placed, I think <laughs> I, I I I approve. I approve of that punctuation. Oh my god! It now, was justified. I feel I want to. You want to try it, don't you? I, I do. I'll be honest with you because I don't want to. But I'm telling you, I can't. I have too busy of a weekend. Uh, I hate being, I hate having food poisoning. Do we have any other people? I think this is not a good experiment. Ingrid, Paul, you try some? Paul, would you like do to it. try some? <laughs> that was a fast noise. Like, nah, I've seen this routine before. Ingrid. <laughs> huh? I'll take a bite. Oh, hard! I didn't have a clean fork. For I you. think doesn't everyone think Ingrid should come over here and, and do it in front of the camera because we never get to see Ingrid. <laughs> come on, everyone, please let's oh. cheer on Ingrid. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. No, no. Come no, on, don't Ingrid. Don't get up, Kristen. Come on. Yeah, I know. She, you, you excuse yourself, and you don't need to. Come on over. All right, Ingrid. Ingrid is gonna come in. Oh, moving Paul's camera. We're getting behind the scenes shots. Wow, so much for molting today. Um, yeah, so here's Ingrid. All right. Come on in, Ingrid. Do I, I want the cookie too? Then. All right. <laughs> no, Wait, I think I, I, I. It smells fine. It, it, you I, really I, exaggerate. Really. Effect. No, I smell. Oh God, does that stink now? You've like. All right, go I've ahead. Activated it. You're right. <laughs> yes, you've activated it. Here we go. You guys got balls, I'll tell you. I, I'm proud of you both. I think it's fine. Yeah? Yeah. It just needs a little, like, spicing up. Yeah. Which is, I guess, what you're like used to. Like bacon and some toast, maybe. All right. Oh, All right. So there's our second victim. Do I have a third uh, Do I have a third volunteer? You were really <laughs> exaggerating. Hey, I'm not exaggerating that these... Oh, hell no. I'm not new. I have been you sick. You that I, I, poop on I've, it. Why, why can't you not eat this? Un, untold to me. Right. Thank you very much. Good job, Ingrid. Hey, 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 hey. That's where the new engineers going to be like, okay, where's the applause button? It's actually three. Oh, three. Watch this. If I just hit three. Oh. Couldn't get there. Oh, all right. All right. Uh, anyways. No. All right, okay. bravo, bravo, because right. not a chance in hell here. Um, so now if you neither one of you get sick... We're good to go for another six Stay months. Stay tuned next week. Yes. Yeah, I might be off next week now. <laughs> Sorry. Shopify's going to have to wait. And it has nothing to do with the eggs. I yes. don't think Gus would eat them. Oh, oh he would. Yes. We'll bring, we'll bring in them. Okay. All right. Moving All right, can on. We get, can we get going Let's on get the into show it. here? Yes. Well, well, 12.15 is where I, I, the audience always... You have that Bowberry biscuit still on here from last week? Here, have some. Nobody cleans up in here. Oh, look. Let's did, not remind Nan. Oh. It does she have some mold. She said she's not allowed in here to clean up, so... Wait a minute. There is no mold on the bowberry yeah, biscuit. Yeah, there is a little bit. I saw it in the corner. That, no, that's the blueberry. But hold on. Um, it's yeah. more scary that oh, there isn't Oh, there mold. is. Uh, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Ingrid's exactly right. Okay, <laughs> moving on. All right, here so, we go. Let's. Here we go. So we it's have a chicken some, show. We have some comments. Yes, there's a chicken show. John said, just saw our first snake by the chicken coop, a Texas brown snake. Non-venomous and feeds on insects, et cetera. Apparently zero threat to our boys and girls. Mm-hmm. 
So yep. not all snakes are bad. No, don't, most don't. snakes, technically all snakes are beneficial yes. when you really think about it. Uh, yes, venomous. No one wants to step on a venomous snake. But um, North Raleigh was known for a short time as home of the spitting cobra. So not all snakes are. I tell you. Oh, there I was have, a pet, pet snake, right? Yeah, that yeah. Got out. I have <laughs> such mixed feelings about that because I am about letting everyone be free. But, man, if you're going to keep a loaded gun around, you got to be smart. And when you got a cobra and I, whatever, yes, uh, moving on. Moving on. So Elizabeth. that bothered me. Yeah, it bothered me too because it was my neighborhood. Um, <laughs> Elizabeth, and for other reasons too. Um, Elizabeth said, shout out to Kenzie for spending an hour and a half on the phone with me answering all my questions. And yes, yes she wants to come see my coop. Just email me, Elizabeth Ingrid at Carolina Coops, and we'll set up a time you can come over and see my coop. Mackenzie's going to be down here soon. Oh, yay. She is going to the Green Bay Packers game against my beloved Bears, and my Bears are going to dominate, and I cannot wait. We're not talking Bears. We're talking chickens. Just letting you know, Mackenzie's. And then that's after, a different show. That's her deadline. She said, after the Packers game, then I'll be down. I'm like, okay. All the way. She said she's got nothing going on until Christmas. Hmm. Um, Country Boy Life says. New Year's. I'm a carpenter from Oklahoma. What's the chances if you build here, I can put a couple of day, put in a couple of days with your crew? I'd enjoy the experience. I don't know. It's hard. Um, Is that like an insurance thing too? There's so Very many. Much so. Yeah, I was mm-hmm. just gonna say Ingrid's mm-hmm. or uh, Nonsweg. Yeah, no, not a chance. But I tell you, people love us when we're on site. And so much of that gets missed. We have so many customers who are like, you're not leaving. I got so many more projects for you to do. Or they're just in awe of how we show up in a trailer and they're like, my coop's in there? We're like, yeah, we got four coops in there. Uh, but anyways, they just absolutely love the experience. And my favorite is when there's other builders that appreciate, they get what we do. Like in Ukiah, that was my last experience with the sheriff. He built houses and he was in awe. When he saw how the coops go together, he just couldn't believe it. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. We I guess you can always call. Anything's possible, but right now it's tough to answer that one. Francine asked if any of the viewers watching have tasted their water glass eggs yet. Ooh, that's a good question. And Francine, always following instructions. Francine, we love you. Thank you for putting question in front of it so I can easily pick it out. Um, well, could, do you want to talk about molting? Do people yes. have chickens that are yes. looking and, half and, naked and, like and mine? And Ingrid has told me today, we have a hard stop. We got so much going on. Hard stop at one. Oh, yes, back yes. Oh, I'm oh. sorry. I was reading. I, I'm sorry. I got distracted. Um, and there is another thing I wanted to mention, so don't let me forget that. <laughs> what? Well, well part of the, the fun case. is, can I remember? Yeah. Well, I <laughs> want people. I want people to chime in, because in today's meeting, we talked about a lot of things. One of them was... We got to get back to being more aggressive, a little bit longer type videos that are educational. Tell us what you want to see. Oh, yeah. Tell oh, us yeah. what you want to see. Yeah, what would you like to see from us? 60 seconds. We're going to do a 60 second, three minute video. What do you want to see? Tell us. Email us. I, Let us I know get, in the comments. I get a lot of questions on when should I paint my coop? At mm. what point in the assembly? And also a lot of questions about bases. Yeah. And we got videos out there, but it would be good to, to get shorter videos. Specifically talking about bases, what kind of base, mm-hmm. how to, how tall, what do I do if I don't have a laser level or a transit? Mm-hmm. There's easy ways to figure out all that. That would be fun. Right, Paul? Mm-hmm. Yes. R- Rudy tried his eggs. He said he said fresh eggs were better, but they were very good. So, yeah, I think And the we'll yolks were intact, but more fragile than the fresh eggs. Mm-hmm. Did you crack open one egg or two? Just one. Hmm. I thought it was fine, and I'm, you know, I have a very sensitive stomach. And, so. and, and also, wait a minute. Hold on. Here's another point. Mm-hmm. One of the ways to tell if you got an old egg is if it floats. These aren't floating. I think that's because of the pickling lime. I think that changes the, I don't I don't know. I'm mm, just, I don't I'm, know. I'm not yeah. a scientist. It, either am I. Interesting. So Jamie Blair, and I think this might have to do with some of what we're talking about today, remember, um, <laughs> help my, why have my young bantam stopped laying? Here we go. Let's get into it. Kristen. Molting. So this is be, the time of year. Yeah. I also find that Bantam, well, Midge does not lay very often. The game, the old English game, Bantam mm-hmm. does not lay very often, but the other one does. And yes, yeah, molting. Right? Right. And you, you've had an early molt, right? Oh, with Bernie, the yeah. little Bantam. Yeah. She, I thought she started like losing. 
I th she was like losing her feathers and our, well, or like kind of losing a feather, grow a feather. So some chickens will melt like that, right, Kristen? Right, really slowly. You can barely notice. Right. And because she's all black, because she's an I am Samani mix, now I've seen like, she's about three quarters of beautiful black feathers and a janky tail. <laughs> so <laughs> she hasn't quite finished. And then my bard rock, which I have a picture of in comparison, just basically gets like completely naked. <laughs> oh yeah that's rough <laughs> yeah <laughs> wow yeah that is a chicken that is molting and she will go like <laughs> that is really rough that was from last year actually this was uh, there's another uh, great example um but she like oh my goodness she I is see so, bare skin i know she looked like basically a roaster chicken that was just like walking <laughs> around um but she will molt really quickly she's so efficient so she uh -huh. kind of like she, she shook today and it was like pig pen with the dust of just like feathers everywhere there's feathers just black and white striped feathers everywhere like a pillow expo exploded yeah. yeah and but she'll be done in like a couple weeks so how long does molting normally take mm. Kristen? well mm. like it could take six to twelve weeks yeah dang yep so with got, most listen of them hold, being on, around hold on eight hold weeks. on hold on you guys you guys gotta remember this show is about education, and a lot of people come here for the first time. They probably may not even know what we're talking about. What is molting? Why do chickens molt? Yeah. To get all new feathers. What is molting? Losing their feathers mm -hmm. in the fall, typically. Mm -hmm. Why in the fall? The days get short. Mm -hmm. That's what triggers it. So it's almost like they're a tree. They're a walking tree. The daylight gets shortened. Yeah. That triggers the trees to change color, drop their leaves. It's interesting how nature does that. So same thing with chickens. And they need the new feathers help keep them warm. It helps keep their insulation up for the winter. Mm. And they, they really do look good when they get those new feathers. Oh, who too. doesn't want to look good come springtime? <laughs> right? It just makes sense when you think about it. Look, here's a picture. It, it gives of, them a break. This is, this is during, and then this is after. Oh, wow. It's like almost the same. Like, look how beautiful, like, wow. the fluffy. Wow. Yeah. Look yes. at that bustle. I know. She's got such a good bustle. What is a bustle? <laughs> I don't know what a bustle the is. The little back. The butt? Well, yeah. It's not really a bustle. We call it a bustle? No, it's a dress. Never mind. I'll tell you, <laughs> I'll tell you after the show. It's an old-fashioned term. Yeah. Of course it is. It's it like references a, the like the, the poofy stuff underneath the dress. Yeah. That makes it all poofy when like mm -hmm. crinoline and such. Mm-hmm. So Jamie says her girls aren't naked yet. So the bantams could just slow down because of the shorter days. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So the chickens are losing their feathers. It's yeah, triggered by some, Sometimes you may not notice it because they are just losing one feather at a time. Typically they start at the head and the neck and they start at the head and go down. Okay. But hold on. Remember, we okay. take all this stuff for granted. And I remember when I had to learn, I was like, oh, this does make sense. Feathers don't grow like hair. And a lot of people, I think, think that at first. Mm -hmm. If you cut a feather, like the flight feathers, a lot of times we'll clip the wings. Mm -hmm. And people ask, well, how often do I do it? And you're like, well, it's not like hair. Okay, that feather will stay short until a new, until that one drops and a new one grows in. So it's usually like once a year. Mm -hmm. So just another thing to mention is that you cut the end of a feather, it's not going to continue growing back. It, 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 a new feather will not come in until that one has dropped. Yep. Mm -hmm. Also, great. not every bird will molt every year. I'll bet you silkies don't. What do they got to molt? Do silkies molt? I don't. Why are you looking at me? I don't have I'm silkies. Just, you guys are the silky people. I don't have a silky. You're well, I throw in these insults around. I know. It's not an insult. I'm just simply making comments. Well, I had two bard rocks that were sisters. I only have the one now. But one molted, the one that I showed you, molted every year like clockwork. The other one didn't molt for like three years. Why would that be? It's I just, don't know. I, yeah, and she looked like... She looked like a little junkyard chicken, and her sister <laughs> looked like gorgeous feathers. So I think that, and the that's interesting. And some of them don't even molt so noticeably. I mean, I'm like on top of my chickens, and some, you know, I'm like, is this one molting? Um, real quick, Misty has an update. All her chickens are still alive. The limping Yay. is much better, so that's nice yeah. to hear. Let's see how long till the next problem. Now, also, um, I'm, I'm sure Misty won't mind me talking about this. Uh, she ordered a shirt. And I happened to see it. I catched it. I caught it on the desk. And I think you were yeah, here, right? Yeah, I was here. And I said, week. oh, let's write her a, 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 just a quick little letter. You know, not much, but we don't ever handwrite anything anymore. And I remember saying, I was like, God, she's going to think this is corny, right? Because I said hi. You said hi. She was so thankful of that. 
So I think we should do that. You order a shirt, you know, maybe again, let's get a picture that we can sign. <laughs> just saying hi, put up in your office. People are like, who the hell are those whack jobs? Um, so I, I appreciate chicken friends. Yes, I appreciate uh, Misty um, pur- purchasing a shirt. Again, the proceeds go to a good cause. And it was fun just writing a handwritten letter. And, and we've she got some good causes lined up. We've got a couple of schools, maybe another prison. So much going on. Yeah, I can't so wait to many. make that official so we can get going with it. Yeah, so many things. So many things going on. So Laura on. has a question. Yes. My 15-week-olds are slightly molting now. Heading into fall winter, is there a possibility they may start trying to lay or more towards the spring? I would say right towards the spring. I, I Well, I think like in the January, February, they would start to lay if they're 15 weeks yeah, old now. Yeah, 15 weeks. Yeah, definitely when the days start getting longer is my guess wait wait why would they molt at 15 weeks they, old well, before they go through their big molt that they have once they're fully grown um juvenile chickens go through like mini molts yeah oh, that's whole, that's why they're so dusty yeah actually i didn't know that yeah i thought they didn't molt till the following year because they they got their new feathers they, it's just growth. a little bit so yeah. if you notice a people mini molts they yep. have like little like if you notice if you have a bunch of like young teenagers you'll see like the feathers in your in your hen house and stuff like that all i know is i'm seeing so many t-shirt ideas i mini molt to you <laughs> do you like my bustle you know what i mean or bristle or bustle 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 i did get it right well, that's fluffy butts, basically. Well, everyone They're says so fluffy butts, and I was kind of getting old, but you can tell how healthy a uh, chicken is by her fluffy butt. Um, but you, actually, but it's, by, it's by her red comb. Oh, the comb is probably one yeah. of the biggest indicators. Yeah. But you just see that all the time out there. And Beth says hello from Raleigh. Beth, also, if you want to come see my coop in my garden, you can come. You might, if anyone comes to see my garden, though, they might have to help move wood chips because I got about 15 yards of wood chips in my garden, in my property so that need to get spread <clears throat> so ben asked correctly do you do anything other with other chicken products like the feathers not just the eggs oh, and the poo that's a good question i actually that's funny sean just said something about that last night apparently hackle feathers i guess of roosters of certain breeds are very desirable for fly fishing oh yeah yeah i got a couple friends that do it and I was like, and all I said was like, "Gee, can we be like inhumane to as many animals as once?" <laughs> but <laughs> wait, 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 what are you talking about? Well, I mean, if they lose them, I mean, you don't want to pluck them, but I mean, okay. if they lost them, that's fine. sure, that's fine. And you make the ties, right? The that's, flies, right? You tie your fly, yeah. You tie your fly. I yeah. miss it. What's the double? No, I was just saying, like fishing and plucking, and like killing chickens and fishing. That's all. What's wrong? You don't like fishing? No, I didn't say that. I was just oh, saying it. No, I didn't whoa. say that. I didn't say that. I just said there's, you know, it's just. I love fishing. That's fine. <laughs> I don't it, think she it, was anti-fishing. Yeah, I'm not anti-fishing. <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure. I didn't understand. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Guineas have very nice feathers. Mm-hmm. And so, ugly heads. <laughs> Uh-oh. Just, now we're going to hear from Yeah, you just people. pissed off some people. <laughs> it's like turkins. Oh, my God. They are so ugly. And there's people that are like, oh, I love them. No. Um, but people use feathers for, I guess, other decorative things too, right? All right. We're at 84 people. It is already, tw- oh, I missed the 1230s, 1238, September 6th. We are live 2022. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. Do everything you can to promote the show. Our goal has been to make sure we've been consistently getting over 100 people at a time viewing. Please help us do that. Please share. And even the comments, right? If they're commenting, that's got to help YouTube go, hey, man, something's going on here. We're going to push it. So say hi. Talk to each other. We can't thank you guys enough for everything you're doing. Please help continue to promote the show. All right. We got some good questions. All right. Fire away. John. John, our friend John. Our chickens are about six months old. Will they molt at that age or are they usually older? They're usually older. Yeah. It's their second year. If you get a spring chicken, they're not going to molt until their second second fall. And I think it's also, I think a lot of people got chicks in June. Mm-hmm. So normally you'd think they would start laying after like five or six months, but we should tell people that they're probably not going to lay until January. Late, yeah, late, late winter, early spring. Yeah. So if you're expecting that, because... That's a time when most people get a lot of chicks. Now, how come we're not bringing the questions in like we oh, used to? Oh, sorry. I, see, I, I thought that was fun. Oh, okay. I thought that was fun, people. Oh, Here's... we know this guy. Oh, yeah. Are they any more vulnerable t- to predators during molting? Kind of you a good question. I so. I noticed that they kind of stay to themselves when they molt. So 
if they're a bossy chicken when they're in the middle of their molt, they they're not as bossy. Oh, and like that humbles them. Yeah, they know. Well, they know they're vulnerable. I think they know there's a vulnerability there when they're half naked. That's interesting. They're they're just they're just gonna lay low for a little bit. Yeah, that that reminds me of another thing. You're talking about predators and whatnot. I had another person on the phone. I don't know if this is true or not. You'll have a decrease in hawk attacks if you have black chickens. Has anyone else noticed that? I've heard that, that white chickens are more obvious, but I think well, yeah. hawks can, are going to be able to see anything. They're scared of the black ones. They, think, they think they're, they're crows. crows? Or, yeah. Oh. I would love to know that. Maybe if we had a coop out here with chickens, we could... No, we can't test that because... Maybe we could dress up our little bantams like crows. <laughs> well, Bernie looks like a little crow. Huh. A little black bantam I have. Um, I think some of the chick. Well, definitely a buff is going to be, or a white silky is going to be more noticeable to a hawk than... Like a spotted speckled Sussex or a, I don't know. Hmm. I just wanted to know. I just thought that, because it, it makes sense. It would sense. probably be an easy target, yeah. 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 All right. Okay. I love um, all the questions. Keep bringing the questions in, especially so if we're talking about molting. Yeah, so Steph has the same kind of question. I ha- um, all right. Well, my new babies that are hatched this May go through a molt this fall. I'll heard not to next fall, which is... Yeah, yep. I would agree with that, mm-hmm. and I'm not sure when they're going to lay. I mean, I hope you guys don't mind. You, we have we have the most beautiful viewers. They got the great pictures. They do. Big smiles. I just, again, I hope people don't mind. I think it's kind of cool. It is cool. You know, cool. I'll get to put a face to the question. Hope you guys don't mind. You guys get to see it. Get to read what we're reading. Love the glasses. I see that's a big popular thing lately. Nan's been rocking some new glasses. Took me a little Those while. Those are really nice. Yes. Yeah. Here's a, I want to start the deep litter method with hemp, should I wait until my chickens are done molting before I do this? I don't think you have to wait. Yeah, I don't think poops poop. <laughs> yeah, and feathers were, are you know they'll break down too. Did you did you got you? Oh, I, yeah, I got my my uh, poop necklace. Uh, that's a little weak. I see only hemp in there. No. How come every week? Where where do all these necklaces of chicken poop and hemp go every week? Because you make a new one every week. I know week. there's one in my car. <laughs> One in my home. I have one my mine by my desk. Paul's like, what the hell did he just say? <laughs> <laughs> so, Dewan, who was here last or a couple of weeks ago picking up hemp, um, question, do loos- roosters lose their feathers also? Yes. So, it, Don't they? Yes. So all birds molt, including hummingbirds to eagles. See, I wrote the article on the molting, so that's why I know this <laughs> And Ingrid thinks every now and again that she is not needed. I tell you, this show would not be the same oh. without her. I love it. Yeah, all birds molt. All birds molt. That makes sense. That just makes sense. That's how their little bodies work. Um, <clears throat> and here's Misty's question, which I think we might have touched upon. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I love it. See, I like that too. So she has a little emoji with a hand up. My girls will be 20 weeks around the 1st of November. Do you think they won't start laying till the spring? I'm thinking probably not. Yeah, I've been so I've I've typically said that, but early spring when the days start getting longer, January, February. Um, but sometimes they'll surprise me if they're that old. They just might. Yeah, they might lay one. Yeah, they might I, have I one or two that start laying, but definitely when the days start getting longer and after cer- the first certain of the breeds year. take longer to yeah. maturity. But my first egg that I got ever from my Rhode Island Red was like January 29th. That was like, you know, the, mm-hmm. it seems like the middle of the winter to get a first egg, but obviously I remember it. We're at 90. Keep helping us out there. Let's continue yeah, to Ing- break that 100 mark. Ingrid, I remember you got some, uh, what were they, lavender moran? Uh, and I, did you get something like that? Lavender. And I said, uh, I I don't think they'll lay until spring and, and you got a surprise October egg or something like that. It was some bad. I was a uh, surprise October egg. <laughs> <laughs> You're Wasn't I, father? You were a hatch, hatchling. Yeah, I was. I was never supposed to be here. Yeah, you know? and then when I did come, my poor mother, ten pounds. My mother's tinier than both of you. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Yep. And I was an ugly baby. Fun fact. Yeah, my dad even had to tell the family, "Don't say anything about how ugly the baby is." Oh my god. Isn't now I want to see a baby picture. Yeah, because yeah. I was no, I was so big. They had to bring in a, a Jerry. Cr- send me pictures. Oh, he, 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 no, I, all his stuff was stolen. Can you imagine that? He had all his personal belongings in a uh, storage container, uh, storage, whatever. Unit? Unit. In Texas, when he was in his moving, and they stole everything. Isn't that Aww. awful? His medals, everything. 
It's awful. But anyways, yeah, I didn't think I was an ugly baby, but they must not have taken any pictures until I my head went not so oval shaped. <laughs> anyways. You like Stewie from Family Guy? Like, I don't what? know. Of course, my sister's all beautiful. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. <laughs> so Jamie said she's looking forward to her new coop coming in October. Yes, yeah, awesome. If anyone has any coop questions, I mean, I am here, you know, <laughs> but I know this is a molting show. Um, awesome, yeah. And oh, I here we go. Mm-hmm. Here's a coop question for oh, Mac. Of course. Steven says, Steve says, I use scrap pieces of wood rounded handrail on the top of the roost. One is 63 inches long and the other one is 38 inches long. All but one of the chickens loves it. Know if anyone else was used a uh, round handrail? It's gonna be too small. So hold on. So one is sixty three, and the other one is thirty eight long, and all but one chicken loves it. There's always got to be one difficult one. There always. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, if if that's all they have, they're gonna use it. And then yeah, you're gonna a have handrail your handrail is not too small, is it? Yeah, I don't know. It's a little close. It's pushing. It's not horrible. It's it's actually very clever. Yeah, I love I the repurposing. That, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, we don't know of anybody else. I've never even thought about that. It's it's, it's a clever repurpose. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm gonna put Mike's chicken feathers are great for cat toys and bedtime. Tickle play. That a boy, Mike. <laughs> he's, he's, he wants another he's shirt. It. He wants another shirt. That's what that is. <laughs> he's got a lot of chinchillas in his house, so he does a chinchilla rescue. A little known fact. Yeah. So he's got like his chinchillas and his chickens. And yeah, I guess we yeah, know Yeah, why. we really can't do the show without Ingrid. No wonder why he likes his Polish chickens. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Um, oh my gosh. So Mike said Hawks took out our only black hen and left the others alone. Debunked. We should do chicken. Mi- we did do a show called Chicken Myth yes. Bust. But mm. we need to see, Paul. How about need, little known chicken we need, myths? We need to actually capture. Like we talk about it. But this then this is all fine and dandy. And I know people love it. But we got to get those things on videos or I, video. I mean, you know what I mean? All these things that we talk about. Yeah. Would be well, great. I I know that there was there were black squirrels in Central Park with the regular gray squirrels, and the black squirrels didn't really survive because it was easier for the hawks to pick out the black squirrels versus the gray squirrels. Hmm. So I wonder. I understand the the black chickens looking like crows, and hawks tend to stay away from crows because crows and hawks are like the jets and the. <laughs> what is it? I forget. Sharks and the jets. Thank you, um, but. I mean, maybe the black hen stood yeah, out to the hawk. Yeah, I don't know. I don't or know. maybe she just couldn't get away quick enough. I don't know. Are we going to try to bring crows? Are we going to call in some crows and ravens here? Yeah. Now, I tell you, when I was out in the Southwest, it they have ravens. I was like, going to say, they don't have ravens here, do they? I, I, I don't know. I'm assuming crows here. I know in New York, oh, my God, we got millions of crows. Right, but crows um, and ravens. But the are ravens different. are fascinating because they barrel roll through the, when they go through the sky, and they're a lot bigger. And um, they're so big that we've had customers think they were predator birds. I was like, no, don't get rid of them. You want uh, them around. They will go after the eggs and the babies. The baby chicks. Yeah. Yeah, well, just make sure they can't get to it, but they're also yeah. going to keep the hawks away. Yes. Yes, I have little crow friends. So here's another question. How do you clean up all the feathers in the coop and run if you're using a deep litter method? I I, 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 I was, I was going to say, I, shoot, I was going to. You're going to say you don't. You're, you don't. you're right. Yeah, I was going to say you're going to say you don't. Why? You don't need to. You don't. <laughs> That's uh, not what they want to hear. We should also talk about what you can do for your chickens, too. Yeah, it would help if they had extra protein. Right. I mean, I've seen recommendations. Okay, to, to yes, yeah. Go up to a higher protein feed or supplement with additional protein. I give them sun, make sure they have sunflowers, black oil sunflower seeds. Mm-hmm. Um, Water glassed eggs. They... Eggs are another. You can feed like scrambled eggs. Um, they my chickens love tuna. <laughs> so. Mine love leftover taco meat. Yeah. So have, have you guys ever? Is it true? I have never noticed it. That if you feed your chickens, let's say onions or garlic, that it's perfectly fine for them. But is it? Will you taste that in the egg? Supposedly, but I've never noticed. I haven't either. Is I anyone? Think, I wonder I if anyone has noticed. I think that. it would have to be quite a bit. Right. I think yeah. that the chicken would have to ingest quite a bit for it to. Um, but yes, I've also heard that. 
And I ha- I sometimes try to throw that at, into the front yard compost pile. Oh, oh, but, see, but. I told you. I mean, I'm not saying he wants one, but that would be. I, people would love that in the sw- in the swag bag, an <laughs> oh. official Kristen chicken poo necklace. Well, told you. you you're gonna have to start gluing those tops on. Yeah, because I, I, I think that's what's happening. You lose it. Next thing you know, you're just walking around with a cork dangling. People are like, "Real, real, real that's, that's great, Kristen." Oh, I lost my chicken poo again. <sighs> okay. Um, let's see what Francine has to say. I keep my chicken yard clean. Does anyone have a good or tricky way to clear out all the feathers and, from the coop and run? Just let them break down. Yeah. Turn them over. Yeah. I have seen a picture of her. Her, she's got a swinging, swinging chair in there. Now, right? what a, is that? Her, a swinging chair. Does she have the swinging chair in her her run? Is no, it, you're thinking of Ekan. Think. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Another big fan. Now, what happens when you see your chickens eating feathers? Hmm. That's mm-hmm. not good, right? That's yeah, not good. That no, usually good. means that they don't have enough protein. Right. Exactly. Just want to throw that out there. Yeah. So we had. Um, Nikki Wagner, who has usually watched the show but can't hasn't been watching lately, but she emailed Wagner. Uh, no, it's Wagner. Where has she been? She's working. <laughs> she she apologizes for not being available oh, for the live show. Maybe we she, should change our show. It might be time to talk about maybe noon on Friday isn't the right time anymore. What can we go back to the idea of Sunday morning? Sunday morning chicken chat? Yeah, that's fine. I will be at home. Working we'll set up garden. the studio at your house. Yep. Seriously, let's come to you. No, let's let's stop. I All right. You, so what we, about Wagner? I bet you people would love that. Focus. Wagner. I'm focused. I'm Squirrely. waiting for you to move on. So Nikki Wagner emailed Kristen and I because she had, um, I think she said that she didn't have enough food and didn't have a, a good she amount. Was, yeah. And one of, her, the, one of her chickens was getting the feathers plucked out of her tail. Feathers, so she put her away in a crate, and then we um, we advised her to put the crate in the run so the chickens could see each other. And now she's her chicken's name is Tammy Wynette. So she emailed this morning and said that Tammy Wynette was back with the band. <laughs> so <laughs> that's great. So everything's good, and they're all. We advised her also to like if she was going to let her out of the crate to do it later when there's not an, or a time when you can watch them, or do it later when they, we were getting up to roost. So it all worked for her. So I don't know why chickens would start picking on one chicken, though, and pulling the feathers. Uh, I like the one, Jamie Blair. How about my opal leg bar? She is six months. No eggs. These freeloaders need jobs. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's hard because it's starting to get a little, you know, it's hard when they're mature at in the fall, I think. Yeah, you just might skip that window. That's right. why those those early spring chicks are so valuable because you get guaranteed eggs at by Labor Day. Um, Laura says humans molt too. Yeah. I mean, I I once watched something on Discovery Channel or something. They said every 10 years, you've actually replaced every cell in your body. Like your body is going to completely replace or something like that. I don't know if that's true or not. Isn't that crazy? That's mind boggling. My dog is molting. His fur is coming out of clump. So it's everything there. Um, There we go. At 15 weeks, you say they should lay in early spring, but should I set up our egg hutch for use? Still set up. So I would set it up just in case. Yeah. Or maybe that first egg they can lay in the corner. Mm. Yeah. What do you think? I I got lucky. I just kind of thought she was going to lay. Maybe she squatted or something, and I mm -hmm. opened up the egg hutch, and like a couple days later, she laid an egg. See, that's a video. Yeah, and we, some people say, and I, I really believe this might be true, that if you open it up and you put the fake egg in there, it might encourage them to lay. It doesn't make sense biologically that that would be the case. But... Right, and be mindful, too. If you're free-ranging, they could be laying eggs, yeah. and you wouldn't know it either. I right. found, found another pile. That would be a great video, how to encourage your chickens to lay in the egg hutch. Just saying. Because mm-hmm. 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 we got the curtains. That's a great shot. Mm-hmm. So Christopher says, my three-year-old reds have not molted and don't stop laying or slow down in the winter. Or they slow down, but they don't stop, which Those I are had... some good GMO Rhode Island, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Rhode Island reds. Those are GMO, you're right, because they're trying to breed all the genetics out of a lot. Of... I don't think they've bred molting out of them, though. No, but mine didn't Maybe molt right away. I'm just saying, the things that are going on, you never know. 
The non molting chicken. Mm. Well, they do. I mean, my red didn't molt the first year, and she also kind of like some. Some are great at laying during the winter. You know, some aren't. They like to. Bring and I would love. I also need to know too, especially since we switched to the new hemp. Uh, we have sold a lot of bales, and uh, we've gotten a lot of positive feedback. But I would love as much feedback in general as possible. If you guys have bought hemp from us, please let us know how that's going. Here, Matt. This is for you. Oh. She had a twelve pound baby. I think she I think she cooked too long. She's thirty two now. Um oh God, that's huge. It is. I was like five pounds. Um is a goose a good chicken guard? Not only is it a good chicken guard, we did a show completely on uh, with a goose expert, using them as yeah. guarding your flock. Nothing is a guarantee other than having them inside a Carolina coop. That was an early show. Yeah, that was boy. We should redo that. And actually, Shelly, who we did the goose house for, she's had a lot of good success, but it was not one hundred percent bulletproof. Really? Mm -hmm. Yep. So we're gonna be. We need to go out there and do a site survey because uh, she wants us to net off her entire yeah. back chicken yard. We just got to do it. There's so many people requesting. And that's another it. video that we need. A couple yeah. of people have asked me about the the bird exclusion work. The I aviary. Know, it's one of my favorite things to do. I God, I love bird exclusion. I guess it's hawk exclusion. In this yeah, country. now it's going to be hawk exclusion, chicken inclusion. <laughs> oh, we got all caps. Can't miss that one. Cooking Sherry, who gave us our sign off. How early can I expect hens to go broody? Some have matured sexually and others will soon. Oh, that's that's we cannot control that. We just have to wait for the hens to go broody and some breeds are much more likely to go broody. Which ones? Oh, like uh, Bantams and Cochins <laughs> and... Silkies. Orpingtons. I know it's coming, yeah. Rons. they Right, because didn't you say Silkies. they're also trying to breed the broodiness out of a lot of the standard breeds, yeah. so they stop going broody. We're at 98. Help us break 100. We're almost there. Share the show. Comment. Say hi. Let us know what your questions are. And supposedly we got three minutes, but I bet you we can sneak in a couple extra minutes. Right, Ingrid? Oh, shoot. Maybe. Yeah. Yes, we can. Oh, here we go. Here's another question. Is the roof truss system strong enough to hold up a chicken swing? Matt's What's the weight limit of what I can hang in the run from the roof? Love that question. Okay. I'm glad you asked. We have done so many videos of us breaking trusses. And we just can't. I mean, and actually, Paul did a good job taking yeah. what we had. But we got to really take every camera we can find, record it. And we've had them break on average. Any, I think the average of them all was probably 600 pounds, 650 pounds. And that's for one truss. Well, yeah, that is true. Breaking one truss. That is but at the end, you have a whole line of them. So doesn't oh, that I know. mean it, that it's it, even oh, better than that? Oh, yeah, exactly. And I saw one of the comments on the Instagram like, well, how do you avoid this and that? I was like, cheese. Talk. Was that the one where the, how do you avoid the, the sides the, bowing The out? bowing, right. And when you get into structural engineering, it, it is fascinating. We start calcing things out, and holy cow. It is mind-blowing how strong lumber is. And you got to remember, too, we're using a very strong lumber, so that has a lot to do with it. But without getting into all that right now. <clears throat> Screwed and glued. To answer her question, which I didn't get there yet, um, a chicken swing. Yeah, I've seen people put um, swings in there. I wouldn't recommend it. It's not designed for that. However, of course, here's how my brain works. I'm sure Nan's already writing it down. We can include now in your Carolina coop, Mare coop, whatever, if you want a roof system kit to hang X number of pounds to put in a swing, you got it. You mean a human swing? Yes. I was going to say. Yeah. What do you she, think I meant? She, she was asking about chicken swing. No, she wasn't. She was asking about human swings. Oh, okay. You're going right? to swing in the, in the No, in the she, run? whoa, whoa, whoa. No, she was asking about, hold on. Here we go. It says to hold up a chicken swing. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Fact check. Man. Oh, don't even waste your time with chicken swing. Oh, my God. Yes, they will hold it. They'll hold up. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. So much weight. Um, But I thought she meant a human swing. My bad. Why would you want to be swinging in your coop? There's people Ryan. that do it. Well. To be with your chickens. You tell yeah, them you true. don't. Yeah, I, uh, well, I yeah. just try to grab them and hold them. But was that way. not a good idea? Yeah. We can make some trusses. <clears throat> that are designed to hold even more weight to make sure it holds human weight. But the problem is you don't want to design it so chickens go up there and roost. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. 
All right. Oh. Someone did like Sunday morning brunch with Ingrid and friends. <laughs> that was Mike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. Look at look at like, she's just trying. Now you're just trying to blow through. Um, I'm looking for the questions. <clears throat> do all you do roll away nest boxes? We get this all the time. I know. If you need a roll away nest box, something else is wrong. You do not need a roll away nest box. However, and actually, I haven't talked to Evan in a while. Is he not in the process of designing one for a customer because they insisted they had to have one? Um, yeah, it might be Gina. I think it's already. That's for Gina. I think Gina asked for one because the uh, the coop is at their summer home and they aren't going to be collecting eggs daily. And I said, well, and it's really cold there in the winter. I said, if they break, if they crack, they freeze, they We're crack, free- yeah. the, the chickens are going to start eating them. So we did decide that maybe a rollaway would be best in that case because they're not going to be there. The coop is not going to be. But they're going to freeze even more. They have a caretaker coming, but we didn't think that they... Don't waste your time with rollaway nest boxes. But in Such this case, it's a rare case, but someone who doesn't collect eggs reliably in the wintertime and they might crack and freeze, you want that to happen away from the chickens so they don't start eating eggs because that's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Worst nightmare. Beth said she bought the hemp bedding from you guys, from us, and it's working well. Thank you, Beth. Yes. Yeah, please, everyone out there that's bought the new stuff, please let us know, especially if you've used the old stuff. The old stuff was great. The only re- I did not want to change. The only reason why I did is to get the- – they just kept running out, and that was a nightmare. Because it was from overseas. Yeah, and the new suppliers, been on. they've been on their A game. Kim Packard says, my disabled daughter actually loves our five-week-old girls. I was in my garden and heard the dinosaurs are attacking. And when I turned around, they were roosting on our head and shoulders. <laughs> I can just imagine. <laughs> yeah, that's great. I Like I said, I go out there every day to try to hold them against their will. I want them to love me. So <laughs> it's good. I, I know they do. <laughs> so and we love you too, Ingrid. Oh, thank you. I just, I love my chickens. So Steph says, I know you guys have a Facebook group for Carolina Coop owners. I built a Carolina Coop inspired Coop myself. Is there a group for the rest of us fans to chat? Hmm. Okay. So to be technical, um, we don't have a Facebook group for Carolina Coop's owners. That's actually two customers that uh, came up with that idea. And the reason for that was so that the Carolina Coop owners can share their customizations, you know, like all the things that they did to make them unique in their own and share those good ideas. Um, is there a group for the rest of us fans to chat? I think they do. They do have people in there that don't actually have our coops, but have built coops similar or have other. Oh coops. yeah, they do. Yeah, and that's where I had I had some mixed feelings about that. Well, I know you don't want people to think that certain coops are. Our yeah, because they had people start saying, "Hey, I'm having this problem with my coop. What do I do?" And I would assume, being the blockhead I am, if I'm in a forum that says Carolina Coops Owners Forum, that everyone in there is a Carolina Coop owner, and there are people in there that they have allowed. Which you know, again, it's their thing, not our mm-hmm. gig. Okay, um, but I did ask for them to maybe tell people to please specify if you are in there, because I don't want people going, "Well, oh, man, Carolina Coops, they suck. Their their chickens are doing what?" No, it was someone that built their own coop. Um, but it's also a great way to share what I want you guys to share because I want you to be inspired from us. If you're not going to buy our coop, learn from us and be inspired too from the other people. At the same time, you're also going to learn how to appreciate hopefully even more if you don't. I mean, I know people appreciate us, but when you go to build your own, that's when a lot of people hear it all the time like, oh my God, Mm -hmm. nah, Matt was right. I should have just bought it from them. And that is something we are working so hard on is making the coop so affordable that you have no choice but to say yes and buy one. And you're still going to be building. Trust me, you are going to be building if you're looking for, for that satisfaction. And a lot of people just ask questions because they're getting a coop. They're getting their Carolina coop, and they want to know, like, do I paint it first? Do I assemble it first? And things. Yeah. You know what? So we're going to – all right, here, listen here. This is what we're going to do. We got a coop that we're going to be painting and doing the show. The front right? yard coop? I really think we need to paint it here. And do the roll off for that customer, which oh, is an option, right? We just got to make sure we don't hit the basketball hoop. Um, because we got really good Wi Fi here. We could go live, and mm-hmm. I enjoy doing it live. Do it, you, know, you guys are always like, well, just do a pre record and play it. It's not the same. Um, the quality could be better, though, if you do it pre recorded. Well, I see I think Paul, that's Paul, what happened. Uh, the, before. the camera guy, Paul, he's on. He's got multiple cameras going. We got to find the darn GoPro. I don't know where the hell that thing went. Um, you, you're, you're right, but. That would be a fun live show at the same time filming as if we're not filming for the show or recording for the show and show 
the different options. So the if we're going to paint a roll off, there's a couple different ways of going about it. And I know if I have to do it, how I'm going to do this one. And we capture that. And then we can show another way. Here's another option, especially if you have a lot of room, you're going to lay out all your parts. Or you paint all your parts and then bring your coop together. And there's pros and cons to everything. The but way how do you know where to, what part is what, though? Because your parts are labeled. That's what I always wonder. Well, true. We have it memorized. Right. If you paint over your part number, you're going to be like, oh, crap. But the nice thing about our instructions, they are very visual. So you just got to match up like you do with Legos. Like, oh, okay, that yeah. looks like the Lego piece I need. That's going to go there. Just, Hopefully. Just mark your bottom board because the bottom board is pressure treated. So there's not a t-shirt. Do you mark your bottom boards? <laughs> I'm telling you, this is good stuff. Is um, it though? I mean, does, does that even make sense? Huh. I, I saw little... something. I saw something. Hold on. Hold on. It's like two one. inside. Oh, I was going to put that up for you. Just making sure. How to get rid of flies in the hen house. Oh, oh, don't we have a sound effect for that? That used to be a bug There dog. it is. See? See, we're going to get... Mm -hmm. um, tried fly paper. Big door stays open. All right, listen. You have to understand any pest problem. You got to identify and figure out why they're there. Eliminate why they're there. You're good to go. You can react all you want. It's not going to get rid of them. Fly paper is actually an attractant. That's think those are when you react to a pest problem. You're just doing a reduction. You're not doing an elimination. Okay, um, it's all about prevention. So hopefully that makes sense. We got an awesome show that we did. I think finally right on <laughs> where we really got into bugs and mice and rats. Yeah, that was like two Here's or three weeks ago. Gonna chime in and she's on the phone. I still haven't baited for the mice. And we did talk about. I don't know where that went. I showed everyone a phenomenal rodent. Did bait. it solve the problem? I haven't done it yet. Okay. We we had a bucket of... I want to just get the damn cat. Will you just please go get my daughter the shop kitty she's been dying for? If anyone knows a good... And I'll, I'll rescue a cat. I will I will admit that. I, I think cats are cats. But want a Maine Coon. Always wanted my Maine Coon. You just like big animals. Apparently. Big dog, big cat. Yeah. Well, yeah. Big chicken. Can't stand... Yes! Oh, Absolutely! <laughs> I don't know why you guys like these little tiny things. Oh, weird. my God. They're the cutest. I want more bantams. So, Rudy, you're right. We've actually even talked about that. And I don't know if it's even been patented or whatever, but it's so easy. You can actually put in a heat pad to help prevent your chickens, your eggs from freezing. We even hmm. did it with uh, – it's like a gutter system where it heats up based on the temperature. So, in the in the north, um, do you – do you would, would eggs freeze during the day? I mean, I, I don't know. Such a southerner. Really? That reminds me when we were working in Boston. It was 55 degrees. And you're like, does it get this cold in New York? I'm like, and I, I'm still in a t-shirt. I'm like, are you kidding me right now? Those eggs will freeze so fast. When you're getting below zero, probably in a couple hours, they oh. will start to freeze. It's cold. Absolutely. So what you, do you do? You cannot, you go out and get them. Oh, okay. So here's a question for, here's a request for Paul. I need a video or reel of DIY chicken toys and accessories in the chicken rung. Swings, roost, chicknick tables. Have you seen those chicknick tables? Yes. We should just make them. We have Why so much scrap lumber. I, I, I've uh, seen those for squirrels. squirrels. I haven't yeah. seen the ones for chickens. Yes. Well, it just depends on what you put on there. Oh, okay. And I bet you people. Is it the same ones? Yeah. <laughs> I bet you people would love that. We put the chicken brand, or the Carolina Coops brand right on it. Yes. They know it's lumber built from the coops. Yeah. I know. We talked about doing it with the cutting boards from the high density. Chicknick tape. Oh, I'm sorry. We should do oh, a, a little back segment with, with these toys because my, we, we know some of some of them work. I mean, some of oh, them. Oh, absolutely. My favorite. And some of them don't. Is just taking a, a, was it a two liter bottle, rip the plastic off the outside, put a bunch of scratch in there and you poke holes in it. So they got to kick it around as a toy to get the treat to come out. Oh, yeah. That's one of my favorites. But so they don't simple. necessarily use the xylophone, right? They don't. And I got one of those like treat dispensing balls, and I found it like buried in my yard somewhere <laughs> when I was digging up. So, but I did use like a regular um, tree branch, and we kind of put it as like a, a roost in there, tree logs, tree stumps, and stuff, all that kind of stuff where they can jump on. Yeah, that's, use your vertical space. Yeah, it's fun. I'm sorry, Matt. What do you want? Nothing. I'm just. Yeah, that's, that's what I. It's have. all this chicken. I mean, I, listen, I do love chickens, but it's it's kind of a boring show for me. I don't really get into the coop stuff, but I guess that's what happens with molting. I guess you if guys. If you would have eaten the eggs, it wouldn't have been so boring. 
Well, hold on. See, there's there is some good questions. Okay. We're, I, I promise we won't keep on going, but and of course we got to see the goats. Uh, speaking of goats, the Goat House official design is well on its way. Wait till you see it; it is amazing. Uh, we'll, we will be able to kit it, ship it, all that good stuff. Anyone wants a goat Ooh. house, let us know. We have the world's best goat house. Is it like the one you showed on the show? Very. Okay. But Carolina Coop style. I mean, I, I no. Anyways, you, you, uh, criteria for selecting a rooster for breeding: loud crow, coloring, size. What do you? What criteria for picking out a rooster? I don't know. Yeah, isn't that fat? That's kind of an interesting I mean, question. I would think it would be, I uh, not a loud crow. It would be one that. It didn't crow they all kind of crow. Is there any roosters out there that aren't, that are known for not crowing? I don't know, but that would be something. Wait, uh, Laura says we did. I sent pictures to Ingrid. What she talking about? She talking about the water bar. Um. Yeah, and that's a reminder. If you guys have a Carolina coop, American Cali, whatever, no, a the, coop from us, you have a water bar and you got beautiful chickens. Please try to get a picture of them using that water bar and send it to us. Whoever's picture we decide to go with for our packaging, you get a Carolina Coops swag bag. I think Laura might be, I don't know if she's the one that sent, um, well, the people have been sending me their Carolina Coops inspired Coops. So I have I have a fold. I'm just waiting till I have a free moment to put all those on the website. See, there's another good one. <laughs> Boo Boo Bang Bang. I, so I got to say the name too. When painting or staining a coop, anything to consider for chicken safety. Now, I can tell you from being an exterminator, you learn a lot about what goes on when you're applying stuff because you have to be careful of things. And what I try to tell people is when you are actually painting or staining and it's still wet, it is, it's drying. It is giving off fumes, okay? And if you go up there and huff it, like you're huffing out of the can, yeah, you're going to do some damage. Your chickens aren't, okay? And you're not going to let your chickens in the coop until that paint is cured and it will not be giving off the fumes. And I'm, I'm just going to say fumes because I'm sure if it is giving off anything, it's a small molecule. And I know that people will tell you paint is always giving off fumes. But it's so low that it's barely even traceable. At least that's my understanding. And it just makes sense from talking to the paint experts, especially if you're using latex. However, that is another one people ask all the time. And that can be very what is the term? Like a touchy subject? Yeah, the off-gassing. Right, because we've had customers request low VOC. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure there's more to it. And I believe that. There's so many things people aren't telling us, you know, like eating eggs that are... <laughs> um, that would be a good yeah, show. Let's, maybe our that. Sherwin-Williams rep will bring in a expert. And, of course, they might be a well, little bit biased, ben, but... Ben answered that question oh. and said, uh, little goggles and masks. <laughs> So that's, that's that, what you that need another, to do to protect your, your chickens when you're painting. Is that another marketing that we have to do? That um, sounds so cute. <laughs> so Tara uh, also asked, where is the, sh on our website, is the shed conversion kit? We don't. You can piece, Excuse me? Piecemeal it. Oop, easy. Be careful. That's been the motto this week. Be careful what you guys say around me. Muskrat. No. Rule <laughs> number one in sales. You always say Yes. And yes, there's nothing we can't do. However, there might be times where we got to explain to customers that just doesn't make sense. Um, we have sold a lot of shed conversion kits, but they call us and say, listen, been listening to Matt and Kristen on video chicken, and they've really inspired me to get into chickens, but I have this old shed. I have this old playhouse, but I don't want to build the egg cutch. Can I buy the egg cutch? Can I buy the roost bars? Can I buy the windows? Yes. Shed conversion kit. Would it be nice to market it? Yes. Should we have something on the website? Shed conversion kit. Yeah, but we do sell it. You just got to give us a call if that's something you're interested in. But yeah, we have all we have pieces. On, yes, yeah, on we there are. Gonna, under, I think we're going to put our windows on there too. Yeah. Yeah. So we are in the process. It's incredible. Poor Ingrid, <laughs> I bombarded her with so much work that um, that I would say that's all in the works. But there's so much more to it, especially with offering free shipping for everything. So Christopher Mama says, I built a coop inspired by your great coops, and I tell everyone about your design. I sawmill my own white oak to build with it and if it wasn't for you guys my coop would not be as great as yeah. it is thank you thank you i love that there's no better feeling when you are a builder and you get to create your own building materials from logs oh god i miss it great it's so much fun okay um so oh some ramona said peppermint leaves and lavender may help with the flies well I, yeah again there's a lot of things you can do to re to to control but 
I don't know. It's just I, it's just in just my a, a dry environment, deep litter. Right. Why are they there? There's there's a sanitation that's a uh, there's chicken poop that's attracting the flies. Okay. You can either clean up the poop, which we don't recommend if you're using a deep litter system. So you gotta stop what's attracting them. That's the smell. Add the carbon. Right. Just cover it up. And that's the beauty of the deep litter system. If you got flies in your hen house, I'll almost guarantee you one of two things. You're not using the deep litter system or you're not using the deep litter system correctly. Because if you can smell something, the flies can smell it, add the carbon, and then you'll smell nothing. Well, but some people use like pine shavings. Don't so, use pine. Yeah, that yeah. could be your problem. So pine shavings suck really, for the deep litter. Yeah, the hemp really helps with the odor and yeah. the wetness. Yeah. So there's a question i don't i don't know if she was what she's referring to kathy humphrey says help my husband just said she's not eating at all she's isolated i don't if she could just elaborate because i don't know what she's talking Sounds about like a, yeah that's a sick chicken mm-hmm. yeah yeah so not eating is never a good sign for any animal so and sometimes there's nothing you can do get some buckeye chickens they are great mousers uh, buckeye chickens i want to say i've heard of them but uh, uh, they're not... like uh, rhode island reds but a little bit flightier. Don't they have a big tail? A little bit leaner uh, and skinnier, dorkier looking? I don't know about that. I'm almost sure. <laughs> Buckeye. Huh. Oh, and Anyways. they're great mousers. So, yeah, we can let those go in Nan's office. <laughs> She'll be so happy. Poor Nan. <laughs> um. Um, so, here, John. Let's see. Here we go. The dowels that are used to prop my windows open swell up and can only be removed with a pair of pliers. I'm going to turn down some brass rods to replace the dowel yeah he's totally right so it's fascinating again trying to find that sweet spot and we're dealing with organic material like wood that is going to expand and contract and we had all these different environments around the planet that we got to think about when we're designing and we can make them big enough anticipating expansion and contraction and um, then some people will complain that they're too loose uh, I love the idea of brass rods. Uh, brass is a great metal to work with. We've thought about doing that, but we don't want to increase more costs than we have to. But that's a great point. Um, what if you if you stain them, or if there's if you somehow coated them, would they still have the expanding and contracting? If you stain them, yes. Uh, if you seal off, Se- like a like a sealant. Yeah, if you seal it off, you could potentially slow down the expansion and contraction. However. If you get moisture in underneath that sealant, you're going to increase the expansion mm, contraction because okay. that's like having a glove on. You're getting all sweaty. Your hands get all prudy. That's kind of what happens inside. Okay. That's why That's why I'm not a fan of paint. We get asked all the time, do I paint or stain? I just love solid acrylic stains. It goes on and looks just like paint. I might be eyeless soon. There's something going on in my eye. And I, yeah, Ooh. let me know if it starts looking weird. Yeah, I was going to say an eye patch. <laughs> you, could be like a, you could be like I'm a- having nightmares about it. Like I had a dream last night that my eye was gone. Well, well, if you get the eye patch, you got to put the parrot on your shoulder. And you can be like a Bond villain. That'd be cool. You need the white kitty for that. Meow. <laughs> 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 <Dang> it. <laughs> well, chickens eat your garden veggies if you're using raised beds. Yeah. If yeah. they can get up there. And oh. they will also dig them up. Yeah. I think they do more destruction just with their scratching, right? Yeah. As a freshly planted. I actually things. put a bunch of... I put a big pot in my run area, well, my outside area, and I just filled it with dirt, just knowing that when there's a plant in there, they always want to pull it out. So I just stuck it in there for some something to do. So absolutely, um, you have to protect your I, your veggie beds. What's, yeah. what's that question from Judy? Is there an index of topics covered in the weekly live stream? Could you list topics covered for future weeks? I'd love to yeah. go back and view past I shows on the past, best, but how do I find the it? The best place to go is on our homepage on the upper right corner is a link to all of our Should we shows. start a video chicken website? Well, it's on. I mean, that's essentially it. Yeah, there's a page on our on yeah. our website, and I put them. I put the embed the. I, I find it to really be much. Can we easier. see? I've never seen it. Can we well, see? I don't it? know Let's if it's everyone. updated now because well, I was, it's okay, Ingrid. Yeah. It's okay. Show it us. It is fairly updated. Show us your world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let us in there. I have Here found we go. that it, it's kind of hard to find on YouTube. But we do right not there. show off our website enough. Here we go. You're there. Go ahead and share it. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. Thank you. I didn't realize I wasn't sharing. Share, 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 share. And then we got to stop soon because I know. 
actually, have a lot to do. We do, and I actually I got to start to pee, but I was gonna uh, oh, okay, trying to hold it. I can't hold it like I used to. What happens when you get older? Man, your eyes going. Dude, I know. I'm telling you, the doctor's your bladder. The videos aren't loading. Why again. are they not loading? I don't know. Here well, we... videos are. Don't x that out. Oh, don't I'm x sorry. that out. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, this so looks like so quick to x things I, out. I, I was trying to find a, a previous show for a right, customer. Slow down. And slow down. Hold on. I have not seen this. Let me enjoy this moment. So. CarolinaCoops.com. Look at Paul sneaking out. He's got a P2. Um, <laughs> CarolinaCoops.com. Now, how did you? No, hold on. I clicked Ho on the top right. Hold where the there's a phone. Big... Yeah, it's right there oh, on the top right. Duh. So you click up here. That that just seems to be the easiest way yeah, to find the show. It's also on the home show, on the home page. And then yeah. you go streams live. Join us Fridays at noon Eastern. And Look, video we're, chicken... we're on season two. Yeah, we're right. on season two. Hold on. It's really, and those are I know I refreshed it. I should know. Yeah, it's, it's low. It just it's because there's videos. Videos take. There we go. So that I, that's my placeholder is the promo. Season two. I didn't know we're on season two. I know. Yeah, those are the good old days. Oh, what's going on? I don't know. Is our website getting too big where it might be too much for people to be able to upload like us right now, mm -hmm. which we should have no problem. But here we have the. So if you can, if you go to that page. And, um, you're not scrolling like a madman. Um, are we? So here, see, and it has our our thumbnails. They're mm -hmm. so fun. You do so. Look at Gus. You do such a good job of these thumbnails. I love Thank it. You. So here you go. If you want to watch previous shows, boy, we've come a long way. Look, <laughs> I, I don't get to see these thumbnails. I don't know why. what's chicken math. I can't ask. <laughs> um, oh, that's right. That was where they got the call in. We never took a call today. Um, that didn't work. Yeah, go out to the shop. We got to figure out better. Now, there's oh, the bug show. What's bugging your birds? That was August fifth that we and did. And it that. is available on um podcast as well, Spotify yes. and Apple. Mm hmm. What a great Google all the Ingr mm -hmm. I tell you, wow, these thumbnails look great. Memory yeah. lane. I love these so much. I want to print them off, put them out on the walls. That that is awesome. I'm not scrolling up. Oh, and that needs to be a T-shirt. <laughs> the chicken math one. Yeah. <laughs> Um, God, yeah. No, this no, is no, the rooster to not rooster one with the, the one on Matt's shoulder, which I love. Roos wait, he where? got pooped upon that yeah. day. Wait, 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 wait. What are you Bad. talking about? What are you talking about? When you got pooped on by all the roosters. The Look how happy show. I was when I was out there. I had such a great time out in Ukiah. So anyways, here's some great shows. Who the hell stuck a flower in my hair or my ear? I don't that was, remember that. That was when you were, we, we, I was making you eat things from my garden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the date that we water glassed. That was oh. May twentieth. Oh, so were we right? Were we right I about it? Our... No, That's I don't. Six months. No, I think I think we might have done that before. Oh, I think okay, done that before. okay. Um. Wow, this is a. This is a. What do you think? I love Paul? how that's is... just like scrolling through the website. His website. Well, I never go to our own website. I never do. I this was a great show. Yeah, I think that's when I started doing the. So before then was just. What's um, our most popular show? Um. That's. Hard. I wonder why people are scared. Really, that intensity. Someone <laughs> was telling me something. Um, I don't know what our most popular show is. It depends on, um, anyways, it's podcast or whatever. All right, go ahead. Take back it over. It is one twenty-two. I do got to pee. Um, Let's yeah. wrap it up. Hang Hope on. everyone had a great we'll time today. To Let's see if there's any. Other. I, I hate when we go back. We're like, oh, there was another question we should have got to. So, um, Judy, don't that's forget how you can find our stuff. Don't forget next week, most likely. Weather permitting, I think we're going to assemble a coop out there for a customer. It's going to be a roll-off, but we'll paint it. Does that sound good? Okay. And we're going to talk about painting and how we paint. One of the options. There's three different ways we paint here. Uh, that'll be a lot of fun, right? Yeah. Mike says you need an eye patch and a Polish shoulder chicken. No, oh, yeah, there we <laughs> like go. Like he has. Yeah. <laughs> All, All right. right. Love your chickens and each other. Wait, we're done I'm already. Not, I, yes. I didn't get the music. You got to pee too? Yeah, you got to wait. See? Now, now is when you say it. I know. All right, love your chickens and each other. Yeah, not bad. I'm glad, you, I'm glad you remembered. We'll see you guys next week. Hopefully, weather permitting, we'll be outside painting a coop. We'll see you then. Later.